Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Was that a burp or a hiccup? This video is about what it's like to have PPD. Anyway, on to the video. Enough getting sidetracked, Lydia. Also, before we get on it, I've got a spot right there. And it is driving me insane. Right, what it's like to have BPD. So, BPD is a mental health condition. It stands for Borderline Personality Disorder. It's also called EUPD, which is Emotionally Unstable Personality Disorder. Personally, I prefer BPD, so Borderline Personality Disorder. I don't like being called Emotionally Unstable. Who would have guessed? So I've been diagnosed with BPD on and off for about 10 years. <laughs> I am getting older. So impulsivity used to be a huge thing for me and honestly it was some of the worst times in my life. Honestly, impulsivity doesn't really affect me much anymore. I say that and my spending is a bit of an issue. How is your day life? So, I wake up in the morning, I go downstairs to take my meds. I tell you that because if you don't know, I live in supported living and we're not allowed to have our own meds. They have to be given to us. After that I can tend to come back upstairs and go back to bed for a bit because it's quite early for me. 9am is early apparently. But I tend to sleep until about 11. Then I start to go on the hunt for food. Now I have an eating disorder so I'm very fussy of what I eat and what I don't eat. Uh, the big example of being I don't eat rice and here where, like, where I live they cook a lot of rice so I tend to have to order food in which isn't great for my weight loss but I'm losing weight still which is good but my immediate thoughts are what if, what are the other residents thinking of me do they think I don't eat do they think I overeat do they think I'm loaded because I have takeaway every night I wish I was loaded. But the typical day for me is I panic about what people think of me. I call my grandparents every day because I'm scared something will happen to them. That's a genuine fear of mine. I speak to my mum most days as well. My mum runs a pub. So I can't call her between the hours of 12 to 12. So I, don't, I haven't spoken to her much, but I text her. And that's, that's okay. My biggest fear is losing someone. So I reach out to the people who I care about, which I haven't done today. I should probably do that. So yeah, we have the emotional instability, which on my meds I'm very stable, which is good, that's what we want. For me, medication really has been a lifesaver. I'm medicated for my bipolar disorder, BPD, depression, anxiety. A typical day back in, back a few, going back a few years, for me would be wake up, overdose, sleep, police knocking on the door, A&E, 136 suite, sectioned. But a lot's changed, like I said, I'm no longer suicidal, I'm no longer self-harming, I have tattoos now. I have tattoos. The colour scars. Because my own scars use the trigger me. 
I had one that went all the way down my arm and that scar triggered the living daylights out of me because I was thinking why didn't I do it better why didn't I go down and follow the vein and it just it's a very self-destructive mindset so I chose to get it covered with a tattoo tattoos are a personal choice I know a lot of people who get them to cover scars but that's because I'm in mental health community I don't know how popular it is across the country I just know what it is in my little social circle but living with BPD is hard and I don't think I've really expressed how hard it can be because you're constantly worrying about offending people, doing something wrong people not liking you feeling suicidal, feeling like you've been abandoned by everyone who's just not in your life anymore or just people who are not talking to you you feel like you've been abandoned and honestly it's so hard to live like that Borderline personality disorder or emotionally unstable personality disorder is not a hard, it's not a easy disorder to live with. People with it are not abusive or manipulative. They're just people that have this condition and their struggles. The main struggles being abandonment. If you know someone with BPD or EUPD, just be there for them. I tell you what, one text message is all it would have taken to prevent a suicide attempt for me. If I had one kind message, it would have stopped me attempting to end my life. So I do know what I'm talking about here. But yeah, if you are new, subscribe, join the growing family, let me know what you thought of this video. I know it's a bit all over the place because I've had a lot of sugar. <laughs> sugar and me don't mix. Because one, I'm diabetic. Two, I get hyperactive. Because I have ADHD. ADHD plus sugar is not a good mix. But, you know, what are you going to do about it? Yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.